Apparently, uh, this is a big gathering, hundreds of state lifeguards gathering for their annual meeting in Orange County today. Yeah, so we've been talking about this for a while. There's a shortage, right, um, when it comes to lifeguards, whether it's the pool, the beach, or what have you. Uh, Bob, right now, he's live in Huntington Beach, and uh, you're doing a little thing there where they're showing us w what it takes to train some of these uh, future lifeguards. It takes a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of training to get certified and to get hired uh, to become a state lifeguard. And if you're planning on going uh, to the beach for the July 4th holiday, apparently you're not alone. There's going to be a surge in the number of people going to our state beaches uh, because during the pandemic, people sort of like rediscovered the beach. At the same time, there is that challenge that there is a shortage of lifeguards. Kevin Pearsall is the superintendent of uh, state beaches for Bolsa Chica State Beach, Huntington, and Crystal Cove. Uh, and and I want to give, give, take a look around here because right now here are 200 of the lifeguards that are going to be keeping people safe here uh, during the summer season. And they're going to be doing a, a big uh, picture here in, in, in just about an hour. But it has been a challenge this season, right, to try and get the number of lifeguards to make sure the people on the beaches are safe. It, it has. It's. Um, it, we start recruiting in, at the beginning of the year, and we've just seen the dynamics. And it's nationwide. It's not just us. Um, in Southern California in particular, where it is very um, a, a highly reputable and, and usually we don't have an issue getting recruits, uh, but it has been a challenge, especially, in, and I don't know if it's COVID related or if it's just generational, but we have a whole different challenge of getting the positions filled. It was one of those things, like, you know, back when, you know, I was a kid, everybody wanted to be a lifeguard, right? Yeah. It was like one of those things, but it's not really sort of the same thing anymore. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the issue is you're concerned or there's, there's, a, there's a concern about the next season, right? Because now you, you were able to, to man, manage to get the recruits for this season, but it's the next season you're Really worried about exactly it, it's kind of that trinkle effect where we we got enough for this year but it's all about recurring and, and having these lifeguards come back and not just be here for one moment or one season but you know a lot most lifeguards have a, a life expectancy of anywhere from three to five years within that career or someone like me who's in year 26 yeah. and, and really quickly the training what is it requ what's required to make sure that uh, you're, you're you, you can be out here well obviously the physical durability is is a key component to it and the mental stability of knowing you know that you have people's lives yeah. you know at, at your you know responsibility at your hands yeah. um, um, and and just the time being able to to take an eight or a ten or a twelve hour shift and be willing to be out there on the beach for that long, yeah. which you wouldn't think would be difficult to get it, someone to do. It, it's tough now, yeah. especially now. You know, like you know, everybody wants to be on their phone. You're constantly looking at your phone. If you're a lifeguard, you have to be you know eyes on the water at all times. So uh, another shout out to these uh, men and women here, these young men and women. They're going to be protecting us on the beaches, at our state uh, beaches and our state parks uh, this coming holiday and throughout the season. They do need lifeguards, uh, so contact the uh, California State Parks if you would like to join in. Coming up at 830, we're going to show you there's going to be a huge photo. We'll have 200 lifeguards in the water uh, taking their yearly photo. We'll send it back to you.